Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at some examples using the fundamental counting principle. So let's say we have an access code to a vehicle and it is four digits long. So a code like one, two, three, four that you can punch into a panel to get into a vehicle without a key. So let's say each digit can consist of the numbers zero to nine. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How many codes are possible? Well, if we think about, we have the four, co uh, four digits in the code. Think about what is possible in each of the spaces. So in the first digit of the code, I can have from 0 to 9. That is 10 possibilities. In the second place of the access code, again, I can have from 0 to 9. That's 10 possibilities. In the third, I can have 0 to 9, 10 possibilities. And in the fourth, I can have from 0 to 9, so 10 possibilities. That fundamental counting principle says we'll multiply all the different ways that each piece of the code can be chosen, and that gives us 10 to the fourth, or a one followed by four zeros, 10,000 possible codes. Now, that is if every single digit can be from zero to nine, but what if we put some restrictions on that? Can we still use the fundamental counting principle to figure this out? So how many codes are possible if each digit can only be used once and not repeated? Meaning that a code like 1135 would not be allowed because the ones are repeated. So we still need to think about, okay, we have four digits to fill. In the first digit, no numbers have been used, so we still have all of 0 to 9 to choose from. So we have 10 possibilities. Once we have chosen the first digit, it has been used and cannot repeat. So now in our second digit, we have one fewer or nine possibilities to fill the second space. Once the first and second space have been chosen, those numbers are locked in and we cannot repeat them. So now we are left with eight choices for the third space. And in the final space, we have one fewer or seven digits to choose from. So using our fundamental counting principle, we will multiply 10 times nine times eight times seven to get 5,040 possible codes where no digit can be repeated. All right, guys, that does it for this video. We'll catch you in the next one. 